More people testifying that Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo is a bully who routinely used his office to harass and intimidate people who crossed him. Local Tennessee Ian Margul is live with more on today's testimony. Ian. Today's testimony focused on a very well-known, very popular restaurant here in Miami. And its owners say Carroyo used code enforcement to harass them and bully them just because they were renting property from one of the men now suing the commissioners. A new week, a new set of witnesses in the federal civil trial of Miami Commissioner Joe Carroyo. The lawsuit he faces, filed by Miami businessmen Bill Fuller and Martin Pena, alleges repeated abuse of his power, harassing them and hurting their companies, all because they supported Carroyo's political opponent in 2017. Fuller and Pena have a significant amount of property in Carroyo's district, and they rent some of that out to tenants like Rosa Romero and Daniel Figueredo, owners of the popular sandwich shop Sanguich de Miami. When it first opened in October 2017, only weeks before Carroyo was elected, Sanguich was based out of this converted storage container that sat on one of the properties owned by Fuller's company. Romero testified that Carroyo told them he was excited by the business they were creating, but that the property they were on was, quote, problematic. She told jurors they received pushback from the city every step of the way that they believe was orchestrated by Carroyo. They dealt with numerous raids by code enforcement, even during major events like Calle Ocho and the Gay 8 Festival, even though they were operating in the exact same way all of the other vendors were. Romero told jurors those raids only came to a complete stop once they left Fuller's property for good and opened their new brick and mortar location just about half a mile away. And you're looking live right now at Commissioner Carroyo leaving federal court for the day. His attorneys, who you see all around him here, pushed back on the witnesses, saying he wasn't target them, targeting them. Instead, they claim Sanguich was missing the proper permits to be operating. But the owners of Sanguich insist it was, quote, blatantly obvious they were being harassed and that they felt like collateral damage in his feud with Fuller and Pania, the two men who are now filing this lawsuit. That lawsuit asks for more than two and a half million dollars plus punitive damages. It's expected to go through the rest of the week. And of course, we'll keep you posted every single step of the way. Live in Miami, I'm Ian Margul, Local 10 News.